Yeah. He's got a big one. Now what if it jumps out? Instead of catch and release, these students practice raise and release. Over the past year, Davidson High School environmental and art students raised these fish from the early days all the way to smolts, a.k.a. fish teenagers. So we got these fish in uh, the fall. And we got them from, uh, like, eggs. We got about 120 eggs. All students chipped in on the DNR project called Salmon in the Classroom. Students would come in early on Wednesdays and some even during intercession to check the fish's temperature and even um, test so things right like pH balance. So basically we just grabbed the two samples and then there's a little book right here. And it kind of just tells you how to test for it. And Basically, so I'd just be adding five drops. We had some issues at first with uh, figuring out how to get the water uh, calibrated to the, the right environment for the, these Chinook salmon. Now we're, we've got 20 left, and uh, we've had 20 strong ones for about four months now. They went from the size of a tiny little egg to now they're about four or five inches. These students became adoptive fish parents in hopes that someday these fish would bring new life to the Flint River, which will in turn boost the Flint River's ecosystem. Jamie Welch, a member of the Flint River Watershed Coalition, says projects like these can be a big part in boosting our local ecosystems. The reintroduction of some of the fish species are very helpful and very vital to the river. This project wasn't just about raising the fish, it was also about students capturing them in their art. We're going to make art around these uh, species, so we've created uh, some murals that are about native wildlife. We've created some art uh, related to uh, salmon and protecting our waterways. While it's nice to see these little fish swim off to a new home, the Flint River and later Lake Huron, it's a bittersweet moment for it's students. Cool, right? It's real. It's really exciting for me because it's just so cool to see them being released into their natural habitat. Is it a little sad? Y yeah, because now I'm got to find something to do on the Wednesdays. These students are hoping to see the fish they raise come back as adults and repopulate the Flint area. Because it'll keep establishing those populations and if we know we have a population that is, say, spawning right here, we might be able to do a little bit extra to protect it, to help them along, um, making people aware that they're here and that if you see them upstream, this is what they're doing, so don't interfere, that kind of thing. Be brave.